Hey everybody, welcome back to the farm. This week we were gonna continue on with our last two projects that we needed to do, which was putting in frost-free faucets and doing the electrical. Ran into a problem. The frost-free faucets, everybody is out of them. And the electrical, I need an electrician because I'm not an electrician and this has got to be done to code because it has to be bought off by the county. So I've coordinated with the electrician and we're gonna get on it in the next couple of weeks. So what I started doing is building a wash rack for the horses. That was one of the projects on my list for the upcoming future. I wanna get everything done in the barnyard area so I can just move on to other parts of the farm. I've got the idea in my head what I wanna do, but I don't have it exactly. So I'm just kind of making this up as I go along. So let's see how it goes. I mounted a post and concreted it in so that I can mount my frost-free faucet right here. I'm gonna tie it in right here to this line. I just have to dig a trench over there to it. And then by having a frost-free faucet right there, I'll be able to water everybody. I'll just put a 50-foot water hose on it and I'll be able to water everybody. So I set these two four by six mats out. They're my template. See, I'm on the end of the barn right here. The other side is where my electrical is gonna come in, so I want it to be away from the water. I'll pull the mats up. I will lay some landscaping cloth underneath it, and then I'll put 57 gravel all underneath it and around the outside of the barn. And then I'll put the mats back on top of the gravel. I'm gonna be four and a half feet away from the barn right here so you'll be able to walk in front of the horses and then by using the mats as a template I can get this thing exactly where I need it and exactly where I want it and not have to modify anything at a later date
all the posts are set now and everything is squared up. I've got all the batten boards on there just keeping everything square until the concrete dries. I am one inch out of square from the building, so I'm 52 inches here. And on this leg over here, I'm 53 inches. So nobody's gonna notice that with the naked eye. So I'm fine with that. The wash rack's completely square. And this back left pole right here is my lowest pole. This is the lowest spot in the ground. The ground is gonna drain naturally from right to left. So I've got a, a, a slope there that's gonna let that drain off. I'm gonna use this back left post right here to set all of my other posts as far as the height goes. After those four are all cut off level, I'll take these one by six batten boards here. I'll cut them to length and I'll use them for a rim cap up there on the top. I didn't get any of this filmed, unfortunately, but I took the batten boards that I had on the side to keep everything square. I moved them up to the top one by six and I made a rim cap up there. And then I took four by six posts and made crossbars. My supports are six by six. And now I'll take the landscaping cloth, I'll lay it out on the ground, and I've got a whole load of gravel here that I'm gonna start shoveling in there. I'm gonna have to leave this corner open right here until I can get a frost-free faucet to put in here. Something like that right there. I've got it where it goes all the way underneath the posts over here comes out on the outside just a hair so I don't have to trim it and I'll have to add another piece over here and I'll do that after I get the faucet in and then this whole perimeter around the barn will be gravel as well so the majority of the gravels down you can see how I've got my walkway started over here that's going to continue all the way around the perimeter of the barn three foot wide and over here as soon as I get the frost free faucet installed then this whole area right here will all be graded out and graveled and it'll look just like this area right here got my cross ties in real good the other day I was sitting in here right where I'm sitting right now wearing this red ball cap and it was hot it's been a hot week last week was beautiful and it was nice and cool and the humidity was low but this week has just been brutal in the 90s but uh, I think fall comes in tonight and hopefully we'll get into some cooler weather. I was sitting here cooling down and I was just in deep thought. I wasn't moving. I had my hands on my knees and my face was in my hands and I was just leaning forward, just resting. And I heard something and I knew exactly what it was as soon as I heard it, but I didn't move. And it was a ruby throated hummingbird right hovering right behind the back of my head. And it was so close that I could hear her wings beating. I've never been that close to a hummingbird to hear her wings beating. And she circled my head. She was up here so I couldn't see her, but I could see her shadow. And she was circling my head. And then when she came around the second time, she lit on my bill just for a second. And then she took off again and circled again. And she came over to my right side and was hovering over there about five feet away. And I looked over at her and she flew out the barn and went on her way. I don't have anything over here, any flowers, um, no wildflowers, no planted flowers, no nothing. 
I don't know why she came. She, I'm sure she came from a neighboring property and I think she was probably coming to spread some love personally. But she saw my red hat and came around my red hat and um, I thought that was pretty neat. I need the farm wife out here to uh, help me with some area beautification. I'd like to have some flowers down by the driveway, you know, like around the mailbox. I'd like to have some flower boxes on either side of the gate. Um, I think it'd be neat to have flowers underneath the windmill, maybe some sunflowers underneath the windmill and they'd come up in, in the inside of the windmill, you know. Um, I do not have a green thumb. I've got a brown thumb. I can, I can kill weeds, but I couldn't grow a weed if I tried. So I need, uh, I need a woman's touch out here. I need some area beautification. I have to work on that. I am going to do a second part to this video. You're gonna see it next week and I'm gonna give you an update on some of the projects that we had been working on. I've never had a designated wash area for the horses before and it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna drain perfectly on that grade. I don't like the way the top of the wash rack looks. So what I've decided to do is I'm gonna get some three quarter inch conduit and I'm gonna bend some bows in it and I'm gonna put a bowed roof on it. And then I'm gonna buy a shade cloth like what you would put over the, a dog pen. I'm pretty excited about that. Like I said, I'm just making this up as I go along, but it's all evolving and it's, it's, I'm pleased with how it's coming out. I wanted to give a shout out to a few of the viewers out there. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate everybody going along on this journey as I fumble my way through this. And I appreciate you guys all subscribing and tuning in every week. But I wanna give a shout out to a handful of viewers and that's JB first and foremost, Joyce over in the UK, Bob Lanny, Curtis Lowe, and Mish Loud. Um, you guys have just been instrumental in giving me feedback and comments and everything on my channel. And JB, you've been sending me emails and I've been getting them, but I do not get email alerts on my phone. I've got all of my badges, all my icons, all my sounds turned on, but I do not get an alert like you would get a text alert. Um, the only way that I know that I have mail is I have to open up my mail, refresh my page, and then it will upload my mail. So I understand a lot of your emails are time sensitive and I apologize for not getting back to you in that time sensitive situation. But if you can kind of give me a heads up when you might be sending an email, I can be looking for it. I'm constantly checking texts and constantly checking emails, but you know, sometimes I miss you by 10 or 15 minutes and that's all it took for, you know, the, the time sensitive window to have closed. So anyway, keep them coming. I appreciate you guys watching this week and next week you'll see the finished completion of this and you'll be updated on all of the other projects. So thanks for watching and as always, remember who you are, be kind to those around you, stand up for what you believe in.